Hi, right, welcome back everybody. Well, first morning in Indiana. It come a gully washer last night. I think we're good on rain today. So I don't know. We're finna try and see if we can't find us a bird. See y'all, come on. Let's go. Wow. Well, we just heard one bust off. And I can't slip down here and get on him. That sucks. Don't respond to no calling. <sighs> and I figured they either gonna come up in this corner, or the other corner, and as always, the other corner. Yeah, I guess we'll sit here a while. A little bit longer anyway. Can't see what unfolds. Mm. That's a big old beard too. Anyway. We'll figure out something. All right, here's the plan, y'all. There's a blind that's sitting right over on our next ridge in this field. That bird come decently close to it. I'm going to uh, try to sneak over there for a little bit if I don't get busted. You never know. Something obvious, something else obvious will come up, come back in this field, so. And see over there and see we can't get in there without boogering everything up. Oh, 
And we made it over in the blind. Not boogering anything up. <clears throat> kind of sat down this little deal. I don't know, can't see. I'm eating a snack. Black Forest. You should burst. I'm gonna sit here a few. Kind of let everything get situated. I said everything's wet. So, I'm gonna sit here a bit and see what unfolds. If not, then figure something out. Well, we're gonna sit in the blind a while, and I ain't too much on sitting in blinds. My need to roam is ADHD and all that good jazz is kind of sets in. And we're fishing to sneak around. See what we can come across. There goes something. Like another dang bobcat. Dang it, boy. Well, before we go on our next rendezvous around this place, I decided I need to come up here and eat something. Spam and crackers. You gotta have something for fuel. And I've been running out. <laughs> Y'all know what I just done? <laughs> It would have been bad. It would have been bad if I found a turkey bird. Cause I forgot my gun. <laughs> Propped up at the truck. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Y'all check this out. Now wouldn't that have been a <laughs> wouldn't that would have been, that'd have been a heck of a deal there. I knew I was off a lot for some reason. <laughs> oh Lord. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Get up. Go to the next ridge. It's on the other side of it.
when I think what we fixing to do. I went that way, that way, and then went that way to it. Well, I think what we're gonna do, then we're gonna go that way. And we'll go back up to the field, the power line. And we're probably gonna, it's 4.30 now. Got about three hours or so. So probably what I'm gonna do, if I don't get a holding up between here and yonder, I'm probably gonna go back to where we was this morning, and I'm gonna get down on that ridge where that bird was roosted this morning. Now, if he roosts there again, we're gonna put a cap in him. And I always got plenty of running and gunning to do tomorrow. So. Let's go do something. Come on. Who knew that Indiana was this pretty? Pfft, I didn't. <laughs> Y'all see that? I think it's them two I was messing with. Forgive me. I was having to uh, freehand the camera. Let's go so we can't sneak up on them. They're running me to death. They don't want to play with me. They want to gobble them. Go the other way. I'll be glad I get an easy bird. God, I, I ain't had nothing but hard birds for the last several. <sighs> Making me use my brain and feet. <laughs> well, we're back in the truck. Lord, let's see. We've been after them turkeys for 13 hours. And I am calling her quits. Oh, we fishing to load up, go get some food, and rest. It's gonna come early again in the morning. Y'all stay tuned. See how this unfolds. Well, good morning everybody. Well, today is day three in Indiana. First day was good. Yesterday was a wash. We hunted for 14 hours. Finally got on a bird at 2.30 in the afternoon. He got one once. Close. The next time he gobbled, he was two or three hundred yards, whoosh, gone. So, we ended up sitting in the blind that afternoon right before dark and ended up seeing a jake at like 6.50. So, all day yesterday, I walked the perimeter of 850 acres and not. So, this morning we're going to a different farm. Clover patch, cornfields, Cut over. I don't know. I ain't got a clue. It's dark and I'm walking in blind. So, y'all need to wish old boy here some luck because uh, 
And we need some. Indiana is kicking my butt. So, y'all come on. Let's see what the day has in store for us. Wow. Well, I don't know what I got. He come out a little far. I tried to turn the camera, I don't know. I think the gun cam got it anyway, so. Maybe we'll have something for y'all. Move in a minute. I ain't camera battery finna go dead. Let's go down here and look at it. He's a big old pretty joker. <laughs> Monkey look with some hooks on this big bow boy. <laughs> oh, Indiana. <laughs> well, y'all can see we got her dead here in Indiana. Lord, I'm gonna tell you what. Who'd have thought that Indiana was as pretty as it is? Me being from the south, I didn't have a clue. Anyway, I know one thing. These old boys have put me on a dead gum run. The other place we went to, man, I walked like seven, eight miles each day. Man, I'm talking about, I don't know, I think all the hens was, they were setting. And the toms, they just, they just everywhere. <clears throat> anyway, we decided this morning, this is the third morning, decided this morning to, uh, come over here to another piece of ground never been in here got up in there and set up in this blind on overlooking the, some an old cornfield and part of a cornfield and some, a clover patch 
and I just sat there and I heard one over here behind, over here beside me, and I'm like, man, I hardly get up and go to him. So I'm just gonna sit here and wait. I don't know the land. All of a sudden, this old boy, right there. I'm like, I'm glad I didn't move. Well, he sat up in the tree forever, like 7.30. Anyway, he finally flew down, and all I could hear is foo -boo, foo -boo, him sitting there drumming. I can't find him. Well, in just a minute, a hen pops out. Another one pops out. Well, it wasn't just a minute he popped out. I don't know how much footage I got, because when he come out, I tried to turn the camera. I didn't have much time. I tried to turn the gun camera, so I don't, I don't know what y'all got, but I'm pretty sure I put something together. But anyway, I've had a blessed time and a blessed season so far. So I'm going to let y'all get on about y'all's rat killing. And until next time, this is Rooster World. I'm out.